Hey YouTube, I just had a vision. I was just over there, you know. Jay Wilson, he, she's pissed off because I asked her a few questions about her um, <laughs> personal business. The reason why I ask her questions about her personal business, I mean, I basically I picked that up from a comments that someone else left on someone else's uh, live. I took it and kind of explored it a little bit. So all I said was, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> so she went into her little rage last night. Jay Wilson, I just had a vision. I saw you on there on the thumbnail. You were holding up this this book, this pamphlet. Called, you never saw it the size. It's always the, the pamphlet, you know. You saw the front of this uh, college trap, right? This is the first uh, uh, writing of Jay Wilson. I'm going to stick with Jay Wilson because that's the name I know you by. Although she goes on bitches across the house. Oh, she, they use my real name. They use my... Girl, everybody knows your name. What are you talking about? Anyway, he has the... Uh, he was showing the college trap again, right? Let me give you some uh, a couple of statements about this college trap of yours, Jay Wilson, before I go on to this inspiration I have for your new book. If you go on Amazon... Right. All self-published authors and other authors too, I imagine, they have the option of setting the price for their books, right? So when you go on to Amazon and you put in their books on college, college entry, finance, whatever, all the books on getting into college, all of them, three ninety nine, four ninety nine, these are thick books by professors, right? Four ninety nine, you know that's what they that's what books go for now on Amazon, particularly when you download the book. So ebooks, e ebooks go for two ninety nine, three ninety nine, four ninety. You very rarely, even the biggest authors in America, their books are the ebooks are rarely more more than nine dollars. Frankly, usually somewhere around six seven dollars for the for the biggest authors. How are you gonna go on on on, on Amazon? And set the price of a book twenty dollars for a pamphlet. Why are you send every other book on there about college or college entry? They're all. I mean, how could you miss that? And I know when you publish, even when you self-publish a book, they offer you price price points, and usually by the page count. So they told you this book should be priced at three ninety nine. At the maximum, four ninety nine. But you, you and your arrogant self, you say, "Oh no, I'm gonna get twenty dollars because it's all about the money, right?" And only the foolish, the people who want to support you, are the only ones that went on there and paid that much money for that book. At the world, they say, "Why would I buy a book that's this big, a pamphlet, for twenty dollars when I can get a big volume by a well-known, accomplished?" Professor, for six ninety nine. How in the hell Jay Wilson in this little pamphlet gets to be priced so high? This is arrogance. They told you what the book was worth, but no, you have to do it your way. So when you were holding this little pamphlet up today, I saw you with the thing with the little what is the little stick figure dragging the dragging book? Is it dragging books? No, he's dragging the ball and chain. I think. Yeah, the, the little stick man is dragging the ball and chain and he called the book The College Trap, which is not original because there's another book on there called The College Trap as well. Anyway, I had this vision. I said, oh, I can just see that same stick figure. So this is a sequel to the first book, right? You already wrote one book. Now your second book, you put that same little stick figure on there with the ball and chain, but we call it the mortgage trap. Isn't that catchy? It came to me like an epiphany. The mortgage trap. So we have the man running, dragging behind this, this what you had on that ball and chain. We'll just put your house on the end of the chain and call it The Mortgage Trap, book two by Jay Wilson. What do you think of that? This came to me in a dream. Jay Wilson. You say 
is you built a house in 2013, right? So after the research that 5A did yesterday where I picked out that only two years later, this house was sold, right? And you came and you graciously explained why your house was built in 2013 and sold in 2015 because simply you refinanced the house, right? Now, what does that tell us? Because in two years, you barely furnish a house. You're still putting on the drapes. So why are you still putting on the drapes and the finishing touches to your design, which frankly, you didn't put a lot of work in, but on your, your finishing touches on your design or whatever, you fill in your cabinets with the dishes you need and so forth. While you're still furnishing your house, you go into foreclosure. That's why the refinance. Who in the hell builds a house in 2013 and two years later, before the house is even furnished, they're in floor closure? More bad decisions. How much equity can you build in a house in Texas, especially in 2015? How much equity could you have built in a house in two years? They have been, the grass has not even started to grow yet. So you went into the house basically in foreclosure. You, you overspent from the very beginning. Now, when did you lose that bullshit? Let me see. You lost that job. Was that been about two years ago? That would have been about 217. So this is why you, st even, you still had the job, right? You still had the job. You're on the verge of foreclosure. You refinanced the house. That's why they refinanced, refinanced it. Because you couldn't afford that mortgage. And you were facing foreclosure. Just tell the truth. You said it out your own mouth. Why else? I mean, you, you, there's no equity to, to, to be subtracted from a mortgage. Usually people, they refinance years and years later after they have all this equity built up in their house. Their house is worth so much money, they're just basically taking some of the money out. But you didn't have nothing in, and you refinance. They do that, the banks do that, I would imagine, to avoid foreclosure. So I think your new book should be the mortgage trap. The mortgage trap. Start off slow. Tell us about how you faced foreclosure two years after you bought the house. How you avoided that foreclosure. But you can. there are other things to talk about in that process. All the things you've had to do. All the swindles. All the scandals. All the schemes you've had to come up with to keep this house. Tell us about what it takes to, make, to, 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 to avoid uh, not only bankruptcy, but foreclosure the mortgage trap so your ass is trapped for the next 30 years in this mortgage right now i'm not even going into all of this speculation going on about these 401 what the 501 ck or whatever the hell they call it all of these other elements to how you financing uh financing this uh avoidance of your foreclosures but I think that would be the right way to go. Tell us about avoiding, avoiding foreclosure. The Mortgage Trap by Jay Wilson. It sounds wonderful, but don't price it at $20. It ain't worth that. I know your books are, you know, $199. I'll give you $199. I would like to see how you spend this story. Because you always spend it to make yourself look so wonderful and delicious and so smart and you made all the right decisions. You didn't make the right decisions if you built a house in 213 from the ground and watch each brick being laid. And then two years later, you're in foreclosure while you still have your college job. Damn, we can see somebody getting in trouble five years later, 10 years later. What, what, what equity were you pulling out? When in the downturn of the market, people were losing money in their houses. They paid more than the house was worth. From what I remember of the mortgage situation around 2008 or so, but you built in 2013 right at the end of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my word for the day. The mortgage trap. 30 years, baby. 
30 years. Tell us all the sacrifices. Tell us about all the things you have to sacrifice to keep that house. 